what's up guys welcome to the video today we have um a very interesting matchup with the carolina panthers uh 83 overall we're 77 we're not outmatched like crazy like we have been in the past but i mean we have a uh, interesting game that might be winnable for us even though we don't want to win but we are uh in a good position i mean i don't think that whatever we do now i think we're pretty much just out of the playoffs anyways we have three games to go until the off season or i guess the playoffs but that's the off season to me so um shall we look into contracts that we could try to negotiate before the uh, season is over i think raheem Mostert's fine anthony schwartz is here uh, don't think we need him uh, we haven't seen really much out of him this week or this year uh, we've seen him i don't know, make a good play or two but uh, after all the the time he's had on the field isn't that good seeing that many plays isn't that great so we're gonna look here i know this season hasn't exactly gone the way we wanted but it's important to remember that we could just phone it in for the rest of the year that we can't just phone it. okay i was about to say definitely it's way too early to be throwing in the towel if we're able to go out and show these guys that we can play with the top teams right now They'll be even, or they'll be, yeah, they'll be even more prepared for next year. Beat the plant, beat the Panthers for a significant boost to your roster. I don't care about the significant boost. If I don't lie, uh, we're gonna discuss how we can uh, address this uh, this short week. I think that we want to keep stamina to the minimum. So I think if it gives us the option to rest, then we'll do that. If it ever loads, so I mean, just keep on going through all this right here. Uh, okay, never mind. So we just got to beat the, the Panthers with fewer turnovers. I don't know if it's fewer turnovers than them. I didn't really read through all that. But weekly strategy and then to the game. So uh, defensive game plan. Who do they have at quarterback? They have Matt Corral at their starting quarterback. I think we can contain the outside run best we can. And then probably want to try to run it inside. That just kind of has to be the game plan here. Uh, go look at these right here weekly game plan probably pick off matt corral 24 300 points and then no sacks allowed sounds good start training and um i'll see you guys with the upgrades oh boy never mind no upgrades here fatigue's hitting us bad oh boy this is not good get pcl strain for thomas booker actually played really well last game so um he's not a starter but he's a depth guy but uh don't really care too too much that he's out. I know that's kinda insensitive, right? But it's a game. So we ain't gotta worry about all that. AJ Long has an upgrade. Corey Weston's here. We got a lot of good upgrades. AJ Long here, just vertical threat. I think we wanna keep him going as a vertical threat and just upgrade and upgrade until he's a good I guess tight end three. He already is a good tight end three, but probably wants someone a little bit uh I want him to get a little bit better before He's like a, a bona fide tight end on this team. Uh, he's got a good pass pro. Uh, run block could use some work. I think that agile would be fine. Working on his uh, finesse right here. Awareness and run block finesse goes up three. Like to see that. Superstar dev down the board. Found him in like the fourth or fifth round. That center. Uh, start for us. Pass block could use a little bit of a something. But agile could also... I guess we can just go pass pro. I guess it works. Playing uh, down to a 75 is a 76 overall. Kenyon Green. Rasheem Green played outstanding last season. Played okay this season. Nothing too special, but an upgrade power rusher here. Um, see what that does for us. Power moves tackle. I didn't see the last one, but Bobby Biddle, the developmental corner. Uh, cannot play zone coverage for his life, but we'll upgrade zone coverage, and he's still a 73 overall, but plus two zone coverage is good. He's into uh, the 72, and then 72 man coverage finds himself pretty even there. And Ike Boger up for an extension. Don't really care too much about him. Just go to power, I guess. And uh, yeah, we can go into the game now. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys don't remember J.D. Pepper's he uh, came out of, I can't remember which class, but very annoyingly has Superstar Dev. We missed out on him. I did. I could have gotten him, but 
I guess we weren't there in time. So we're going to go actually go look at this Carolina, uh, the Panthers. Uh, guess their overall people right here go to their quarterback, Matt Corral. Christian McCaffrey, Chubba Hubbard, who is actually hurt. So we'll see some Cordell Lynch if we don't see Christian McCaffrey. Terrace Marshall, Randy Compton, Shai Smith, Robbie Anderson, DJ Moore. We're just up there. Eric Ebron's playing here along with uh, Durham Smythe and Ian Thomas. Ika McQuanu, um don't even care. Bidez is there. Austin Corbett's fine. Taylor Moten's pretty good. Brian Burns, your two girls. Matos is playing pretty well. Derek Brown, Davion Nixon here as well. Bravion Roy as well. JD Peppers, left outside linebacker. He's a rookie. Is he is he generational? I, I don't know what the whole deal is on him, but might be generational. 85 finesse moves is freaking insane. 86 pursuit, 92 excel, 93 stamina, 99 injury, 96 jumping, 96 agility. Looks like a monster. Like I said, could have had him, but uh, we just didn't. So um, I, don't, I don't really know what else to say about that. I mean... I know, whatever, but someone to look out for, for sure. Cody Barton, Anthony Hitchens, not the best linebacking duo. Shaq Thompson still here. Brandon Smith, a crazy good athlete here as well. So, fun to see. Dante Jackson, J.C. Horn, C.J. Henderson, all here. Xavier Woods at free safety, and Jeremy Chin at strong safety. Now we can finally get into the damn game. All right, we are here. I think we're in NRG, but I could be wrong. But look at the Damian Pierce comeback game last uh, last game. 14 carries, 91 yards on a touchdown. Really good. He really uh, helped things together on the ground. It looks like we are in NRG. So uh, have some home field advantage. We are returning. I do not uh, like. You guys have watched any other video. I probably have said that. I don't like to return the ball. I like receiving, or I like kicking off. <laughs> um, we don't need to see Daniel Jones's numbers. I had a good game last week, but they unfortunately show the whole season uh, numbers for him, so they don't really do him too much justice. As uh, Isaiah Pacheco, the starting running back, will hop in here on uh, the first play of the game and get a good gain of six here, but we'll try to get going now. Uh, rolling out, looking for someone, and yeah, damn, Daniel Jones is still, or I guess already so tired, that uh, stamina is not good, we have stamina absolutely taking, uh, okay, Brian Burns, we just, oh, JD Peppers, never mind, we just rolled right into JD Peppers, for uh, his first sack on us, so, no bueno, we'll see what sort of, uh, Sort of gain we can get here with Raheem Mostert, but it'll be J.D. Peppers in the backfield for a TFL after getting his sack. Uh, they just, I guess, shed immediately, so a little bit interesting there. I do see Andy Isabella on a streak, and we can try to get it up to him. The uh, odds of us actually getting the ball there wasn't good, but hey, I mean, I guess we'll take it, right? And Jeremy Chin will actually have a pick six. Oh my lord, what a game, what a start. Alright, now we have the ball on the 25, and we will run in the general direction where Corey Weston can't make any sort of block, kind of just ran with the running back but didn't care to make any blocks. AJ Long goes down, so we will see Brevin Jordan and Harrison Bryant in a little bit more. I'm starting AJ Long, just seeing how much XP we can kind of rack up for him before the, uh, the season ends. Uh, there is an injury timeout. It actually is Raheem Mostert, so we might actually have to see some Damian Pierce. So that should be an interesting dynamic here. And I don't even know where that was to in the first place. But uh, we'll just put in Brevin Jordan. Don't want to risk a long-term injury with uh, AJ Long. We only have three weeks left in the season. Want him to finish out a bit strong. And... Uh, yeah, the Carolina Panthers will have the ball. There's a flag on the play. So we have our first play on defense now. Uh, it'll actually be a Christian McCaffrey run. 
And luckily, Tim Northcutt is that getting on him. Good job from Tim Northcutt getting off of his block and making that play right there. Do like to see that a little bit. Why is Tim Northcutt playing so much? He had two sacks last week, but I did find a little bit interesting. And Derek Singley Jr. and Kevin Waddle trying to cover Robbie Anderson, but a great throw from Matt Corral and a great read as uh, Robbie Anderson, as you guys should know, is now on the Arizona Cardinals. We'll try to bring a blitzer off the edge here. Um, man, can we get the quarterback, please? What is happening? What is happening? How and why? That's what the I, I don't even have words. Um, yeah, we don't have much defensive linemen right now. Why? I literally just couldn't tell you. Um, we'll have someone rolling out to the oh my god, and Blake Cashman bit so hard right there. What is Blake Cashman doing? He doesn't have an angle up from there anyways. I don't understand that. But empty backfield now for the Carolina Panthers. Kevin Waddle and Blake Cashman into the game now. Fatigue really playing a major part on everyone. And Jeff Okuda making a good play right there. Uh, pa breaking up the pass right there. Uh, can I say right there anymore? We have Desmond King on a nickel blitz right here. I think that we should come down and utilize that. And Blake Cashman going to try to deliver a hit, but couldn't. Is that a Fitu Melifonwu on that one? That stop, number 20. I think that might be a Fitu Melifonwu, or it's red one. I don't know which one it is. Can we get on Kevin Waddle, please? We couldn't. A Fitu can't make the tackle on Ian Thomas. And uh, they're just cooking right now. They are doing something on defense that I uh, don't think that we've seen. So we can use Hall right here and try to cover all we can here in five wide. It's not that easy uh, as they are empty. They lined up an empty backfield. I didn't see that until like the very end. I did an audible. And here on offense now, we are off to a very slow start. Why did that play take forever to actually initiate? Why didn't the ball get into Damian Pierce's hands like way before that? I don't understand that, but Damian Pierce... Last week got something going, so we're going to see if he can do that here today. Um, I think we'll pass the ball here, though, just to uh, ensure some uh, support. This one out to Brevin Jordan. Turn upfield. Uh, get a good gain of some yards, actually, right there. Got five yards. Uh, Brevin Jordan just kept on going. Uh, do have three yards to get. And this could be a little bit difficult, especially if they blitz. How the hell is that a thing? How are they right there? This is not Madden Ultimate Team with some fucking cheeser. This is like... I, Kirk Lott, the rookie, decides not to block. Right here you see Kirk Lott has an edge rusher already getting double teamed. Why do we need a triple team on? Is that Derek Brown right there? Derek Brown, why do we need a triple team on him? Kirk Lott just loses him. Right into the backfield immediately. Uh, really annoying stuff. Really dumb. Have to punt. It'll be... Uh, uh, we'll, we'll dig ourselves an even bigger hole, basically. Um, yeah, well, Christian McCaffrey going all the way up to the 47. This game's bullshit. And Matt Corral is not looking bad. Looks like he is uh, up for the job. But the uh, first quarter will end here. And, well, I mean, still, I mean, it's not the same play. But if Fitu Melifonwu will come off of the right end here and try to make a stop. But they can't. Kevin Waddle wraps up generally early after only two yards there from Christian McCaffrey. We will go mid-blitz, run some uh, some man coverage. But I'll use Nasir Dean to kind of use him, I guess. I, I don't know. But number 88, Terrace Marshall. We'll get the catch now. I think man coverage is pretty much the best that we can do. I'm going to pinch our line just in case this is a run. And I uh, guessed correctly. And yeah, Christian McCaffrey is a problem. But he is hurt. And he doesn't look so hurt to me. But, nope, oh, there he goes. He's down. Went into doggy real quick. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. But, <laughs> um, yeah, we have some uh, issues here. Um, Eric Ebron. Keeps on speed boosting somehow. I don't know how or why or like what 
he's uh, initiating into, like, what animations he's in, but looks like we won't see Christian Harris for the rest of the game. Um, Dion Gray, uh, more lost than a kid at Disneyland that wandered off. I don't know. So far, we're getting pretty much murdered is the uh, correct terminology for this. So I don't know what we're supposed to do. That's a little bit uh, better here. But running the ball just doesn't seem to be working. And passing the ball sure as hell is not working. So like I said, I don't know what we're supposed to be doing here. I don't know what there is that we can do. Kenyon Green getting out and making a good block. Pacheco trying to reverse field. That one's good right there. Kirk Lott is down. A uh, little interesting there. Uh, just because they show a blitz formation like right here doesn't mean that we should stop running it as Damian Pierce will have five yards on that right there. Trying to uh, pick up some of the slack here. Raheem Mostert back into the game. Uh, we'll see if we see him quite a little bit here with some injury concerns and some fatigue concerns. Raheem Mostert will go for another little bit of yardage there. Uh, read option we can go with and run it to Raheem Mostert once again. He is panting in the backfield, I notice. So moving upfield doesn't quite have the speed to get around everyone right there, but uh, still another really good gain. We'll go to the trap play, and Damian Pierce uh, now will look for uh, a hole on, on the run. He's up the middle of the field. Almost to the end zone, ran for 27 right there. Damian Pierce through the middle of the field. Three rushes and has like up to 37, maybe 40 yards. I don't know. Looked crazy to me. Uh, some pretty good stats. Damian Pierce goes down after just one. Brevin Jordan's down. I think we'll see Harrison Bryant in now. Uh, I don't know what is happening. But we'll have a chance to score here. Uh, and we definitely don't want to lose it. Damian Pierce into the end zone. There is a flag on the play. Don't know what it is. Maybe a false start. Don't show Kenyon Green. This one might be coming back. It's a holding on the offense. By number 59. That one will be Kenyon Green. We'll sub in Harrison Bryant right here. Um, you know, jet sweep and then just audible out. Second and goal from the 11. I know it's pretty bold to run right here, but... I'm doing it anyways. Damian Pierce out to the outside, stumbles, and gets into the end zone. Damian Pierce with a great play right there. Love to see that. That's pretty incredible right there. Damian Pierce showing what he's worth. So I think the main goal of this drive right here defensively is to kind of hold, you know, hold them off a little bit. Is to not try to uh, let them get 28 and then they get the ball back at half. So I don't know exactly what to do to uh prevent that from happening but we're gonna try um i mean if they have this running back lynch here going off like that then i don't know what we're gonna do regardless um miss real dean will try to come in and make a play and he does it'll be fourth and one incomplete pass makes the clock stop they are forced to punt this one away but the only downside to getting the ball back is that we have literally only been effective in the run and with us trying to conserve some time it might not be all that good we will come out here and we will run the ball i will not throw this one to andy isabella never mind we will and this one just incomplete for some reason i don't know i i literally could not tell you um damien pierce now will have a chance to run the ball uh he is stopped very early on by number 52 that ends up being anthony hitchens this one to the two minute warning we'll have to try and make something happen here um i mean this isn't really the best play ever but we will bring traquan smith on a slant as well and just kind of look for the uh open man we'll just try to uh lob that one up Harrison Bryant comes down with it, but it wasn't in bounds. How was that not in bounds? I want to uh, review this here. Can I can I do that? So we had Harrison Bryant make a great catch. 
but he said that it said that he was not down in bounds and one foot you dumb ass oh wait is that another foot down that foot lands out of bounds oh my god that was almost close to being one of the best catches i've ever seen they will both review they will uh review this one from the booth here we will have to uh, go ahead and we'll just skip because we already took a look at it for ourselves. They will call it first and ten, and this one will be uh, overturned. We will have the ball here. Let's try to uh, try to run the ball on this Carolina Panthers defense like we were before. Uh, going in, hurry up. Let's do it again. Do the same thing. Keep carving up this this team right here, and won't get much right there. That is so much time off the clock. We'll go to this play right here, Traquan Smith, trying to go up and moss a guy. Couldn't, but did stop the clock there. Um, I was trying to throw it just either, wait, fourth and two, and we're not going to punt. Uh, we'll go quick pass here, go from, I guess, the shotgun, and we'll go four verts, and hopefully they came out weak, and they did. We'll run it with Damian Pierce see what we can do what's what's doing gets that first down that's a first down that's a first down for sure it is a first down but before they review we want to get it we want to get a playoff here uh the clock is not running due to a kenyan green all right man will oh no nope. injury timeout jd peppers is down now and uh we'll bring in ike boger here but we got to start passing the ball it just has to be done second and ten Running out of time, only a minute and 14 to make something magic, magical happen. And I do see someone that needs to be way further down the fucking field. And Dante Jackson's fast as hell. We'll return this one for another pick six. I want to cry, dude. I want to cry myself all the way home. Wide open Andy Isabella. We have no time in the pocket. Got out, escaped, wanted to lob it up at least, had enough space to do that. But no, this one ends up right in the hands of Dante Jackson. How the fuck does that happen? I couldn't tell you. 28 to 7, minute left. We'll try to get something going. Drum 4 is into uh, one of our receiver spots, by the way. I don't know if anyone saw that. Harrison Bryant just going to turn upfield. <clears throat> Had a little uh, something in my throat there. I'm not sure what, but we'll go ahead and snap it. Taking Quintoriano will be... Um, I don't know. He'll, he'll be playing at the wide receiver one spot. We need a timeout here. We need to recoup, regenerate our uh, our offense here as we need some receivers out there. We have two running backs, Anthony Schwartz and Tegan Quintoriano. I don't know if it's Tegan or Tegan. But um, this one, Anthony Schwartz. Up the sideline. Anthony Schwartz up the sideline. Good to the nine. Out of bounds. Jeremy Chin on the chase down tackle. Anthony Schwartz, we just got lucky finding him open. Jerome Ford here. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do here. This is going to be a tricky situation. Um, just keep telling him to run and run and run. Wasting some time off the clock, but I don't know what to do. Travis Homer into a... a Wide receiver now. Just find Harrison Bryant in the middle of the field quick. Harrison Bryant for a touchdown. Fatigue is killing us right now. Two timeouts, 14 seconds. We'll see what uh what's doing here. So we are out to the sideline trying to make a tackle. We do finally get a tackle. I think this one will just go to halftime. And yeah, that's right. We're playing on Thursday, so we can't really check up on any of the teams. So <laughs> just go ahead and... uh. Uh, just skip past all that. We are playing primetime Thursday night football game. So we will kick off to the Carolina Panthers and see what they can get going on their first drive of the half. Trying to play a little bit more of uh, some com com more composed uh, game right here as we will smell out the run to the uh, right side. Sheldrick Redwine, number 20. So that was the guy earlier. We'll get out, out, get out and make that damn tackle if I can damnly speak. Damn it, dude. Third and seven, have a good chance to stop them here. Um, good opportunity just at the last second, I guess, Jeff Okuda. There was some separation there. I, I don't know what that was, but I literally, I don't think I could tell you. I just don't know what that sensation was right there. That was uh, 
little crazy if you ask me. Um, wide open. Try to force a fumble. Uh, if we actually have a chance at winning this one, we're going to need to force a turnover or two. Uh, just, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what we can do here, but uh, we have Nasir Dean rushing and then on the outside right here, Kevin Waddle. Uh, I thought we were playing some pretty good coverage until he uh, ran the Texas route. And ended up going up early right there. Empty backfield. Need our pass rushes to keep Matt Corral, um, I don't know, pretty well at ease. I guess. And yeah, Robbie Anderson just falls into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Woo woo. And still at our um, wide receivers positions, we have Jerome Ford and a fourth string tight end. So I think we're pretty much just forced to run the ball here with um, with Damian Pierce. I think that's what it's down to. JD Pepper still hasn't come back into the game, by the way, as we'll try to get outside with Damian Pierce. Like right there, a faster running back gets out. I just, it's hard to say that Damian Pierce is the future when his speed is just so low. And J.D. Peppers is back in. I just saw him, by the way. I don't know if you guys did, but trying to keep uh, Damian Pierce in the game as much as possible. Trying to just keep him mowing forward, but I think he's starting to lose a little bit of, a little bit of his juice here. So just slow this one down. Jerome Ford into the backfield. Sammy Watkins back onto the field. Um... Cut this one back with Jerome Ford trying to get up the field. Good for seven. Have to uh, gain just one yard on this play right here to, to keep us going. Jerome Ford can't do that. We're pretty much in a, a must-go-for-it spot right here. So Jerome Ford up the middle. We'll have it. And uh, there is a injury timeout to Jerome Ford maybe. I don't know who that was on. Uh, Damian Pierce back into the game now. Sammy Watkins still here. Might look to just give it to Damian Pierce early. We do. He is tackled by Cody Barton. So that wasn't much of a help right there. I'm trying to keep Sammy Watkins in the game uh, to make, I don't know, some sort of play happen. Do we have a free play? Why'd you run with him? And, yeah, this one's going to be intercepted. I, I hate the damn playmaker in this game. It's so stupid and annoying and dumb as fucking and stupid and stupid. And fucking stupid! I don't know what else to tell you. Holding on, on, on offense. So, so decline it. They'll have the ball. I, I just don't understand the... I didn't tell Andy Isabella or whoever the fuck... Sammy Watkins to go up with it. So, I'm out of the pocket right here. I tell Harrison Bryant to go up the fucking field, right? I'm, I'm telling him to go up the field. Sammy Watkins needs to stay. Stay where you were. Stay right here. Number 17 moves with number 81. Dump it off to Sammy Watkins, make some space. But no, he just his dumbass decides to go with. It's stupid. And then when I try to throw it, when they're in open space, I should try to be able to throw it in uh, some uh, unrestricted territory, I guess. Somewhere where there is nobody. Sit down and stay in that spot. But no, they keep going on a streak. JC Horn gets a ridiculous interception. And we're our, we are where we are now. So I, I just don't know what to tell you. It's stupid as fuck, this game and how it works. But I guess, hey, if you make millions of dollars, EA, go ahead. Jonathan Grenard in the backfield pretty pretty fast, pretty immediately. Pretty good play. Uh, I do like to see that from one of our highly anticipated guys on defense. I, I anticipate him to be here long term. Jonathan Grenard might be up to like a 79 overall, 80 overall by now. So not 100% on all that. Um, just too slow to keep up with him is what I'm seeing from Nasiru Dean right there. If we had Kevin Waddle, that might be an interception. I just be going the other way, a different, uh, different thing. But uh, stamina has hit us in a big part right now, so I don't know what to tell you guys on that one. And Eric Ebron apparently is Jesus and just can't get tackled. So uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know what to to do. This is a very hard team to uh, to defend against, I guess. And this is why. I don't, like, why, why don't we lock into an animation there, but the the CPU can. So I would wait on all Madden. That's what it is. Why do the linebackers insist on calling out seven different calls uh, before the, the play's even on? That can be a touchdown. It's going to be a macro touchdown. I'm not fucking surprised, dude. And we still have Damian Pearson in the game, but no wide receivers. So see what we can do here. Just run it up the middle. Brian Burns makes a good play. 
I think we're averaging just five. So that's interesting. Damian Pierce now uh, will we'll, we'll try to get a screen to him, but the quarter ends. And uh, now we just have a lot of bad plays. But we'll give it to Damian Pierce one more time as we have Sammy Watkins as the only option on the team pretty much. And Damian Pierce bowls forward for a lot. So we will uh, run it again and look for a hole like that again. We'll find it not again. I needed to cut back to the right a little bit. But Damian Pierce, good for another 91 yards on the day. So I don't know what to tell you. I, this is such a rough game to be playing with uh, morale being too much of a, or uh, stamina being a little bit too much of a factor for us to even have a chance at uh, having a good game. I think that's JC Horn on uh, Sammy Watkins. I have to throw this one away. Um, Kirk Lott down again. I don't care. He's down every game. Uh, dude's a bum. Took him in the first round, I think. So, uh, happy us, right? Try to find Harrison Bryant underneath. Try to get him going a little bit. Can't do that. We'll just try to hand this one off to Travis Homer. The... I don't even know what string running back. I think he's the fourth string running back. Has to be. Uh, we'll get the, the carry here and look to, I guess, find either Nico Collins or someone. Go Nico Collins. No arm strength. Danny Dimes. I don't know what to tell you on that one. That is just horrible throwing right there. <laughs> not a starting quarterback caliber. Not a starting, starting quarterback caliber type of player. Sammy Watkins in the end zone. What a throw. Yo, I, I hate all the haters. Daniel Jones is good. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, It was a bad throw regardless, but um, it got there, didn't it? And pretty much just for the fun of it now, we'll try to contain this Carolina offense. I don't think it's possible, but we can try. As Yeah, we had a chance there, but got locked onto a block there <laughs> really easily. We... Tried to swerve out of it, but uh, can't do that. Not in Madden. Nope. Not allowed. And we'll pinch the line here. Try to call out a run play. Still can't do anything about it as they're... I mean, it's my fault. The, the sliders are ramped up to Jesus. It, it's it's crazy how much these, uh, these sliders are, and certain things are higher than others. But it's just ridiculous what I have these sliders at. So, Kevin Waddle. Oh, nope. Someone else uh, comes and takes that tackle away. It was like Akudin Muhammad on a good stop right there. It is. We'll try to blitz again. Kevin Waddle, give me that. We'll go back across. Oh my god, that is inhuman. That play from Kevin Waddle, by the way. Oh my god. Go back and watch that if you missed it. You could miss it pretty easily. One blink and it's over. Kevin Waddle showing a little bit of athleticism right there. Uh, will be a throw out to the flat. Eric Ebron out of bounds. Fourth and two now, and we'll try to uh, do something with the ball. And if we're going to get anything going, it'd be with the run, but uh, unfortunately, uh, just not working out. Jerome Ford, <sighs> that's what happens when you have a, a second year running back at your slot wide receiver, wide receiver position. You just get that drop right there, so nothing really doing. You ask me, Brevin Jordan's probably our best option uh, on on offense right now. If I had to, to say someone, we'll go with uh, Quintoriano, who can't come down with it. A uh, great play there from the defense, just uh, knowing just about everything and how to play exactly the way that uh, it was meant to be played. Go for Brevin Jordan, and it'll be a J.C. Horn interception. Pretty much an arm punt, honestly. I don't think that our punter. Bum ass can uh, kick it further than that, anyways. So, yeah, um, back on defense now. We will try to bottle up the run, as this will be obviously a run. And this one to Terrace Marshall, actually. It'll be a tackle for loss, or I guess tackle for no gain, really. But I think they'll call it behind the uh, behind the line of scrimmage. A uh, red wine hopefully will come in unblocked here. He does, makes a great tackle, It'll be third and 11, we'll call a timeout, and this one will most likely be a pass, um, maybe underneath, it'll be hard to contain though, this one might be a run, it's going to be a run, Kevin Waddle's not having any of that, we'll call a timeout, one minute, four seconds left, 
They'll have a chance at a field goal. It's going to be a long one, though. See if they can uh, knock it down. I don't know who their kicker is. Uh, and no, he cannot. Have the leg, but not quite the accuracy. As that one goes far right. Have the ball back now. I think that we can just run like this. Um, I think that Damian Pierce is pretty well rested. As he actually had some uh, pep in his step for the first time there. We'll try to get him over 100 yards rushing. Shouldn't be too hard. Have it on this play already, pretty much. So. Got 100 yards, 111 yards on 19 carries. Not bad. Not bad at all. Um, try to go to absolutely no one. This is a fumble. It's going to be returned for six, isn't it? No. Good ankle tackle there from Kirk Lott. <laughs> Dude, I tried to throw it. I threw it away, basically. That's what happened. Uh, we can take a look at the stats now. Game's over. And looking at the stats now, went 10 of 23. Pretty opposite from Matt Corral, who's perfect on the night. Uh, went 20 of 22, 251. And his three touchdowns is insane. But uh, Daniel Jones and his four interceptions is not good. Two uh, touchdowns, though, 144 yards with just 10 completions. I mean, a couple of bright spots, I guess. But Damian Pierce really uh, carried the team again. Um, just, I mean, running for 5.8 per carry is good. But... A touchdown, 111 yards, also good. But, I mean, we had the running game f going for us, but it just didn't work out when uh, the fatigue was so against us. Receiving-wise, yeah, Eric Ebron had a lot, but Harrison Bryant, our leading receiver, really bad stuff here. Anthony Schwartz, Sammy Watkins had that touchdown. So it wasn't anything crazy. It wasn't a good game. I wouldn't call it. I definitely wouldn't call it that, but... Yeah, it's just rough. I mean, I'm happy we lose, but not in that way. Uh, and, oh my God, not enjoyable at all. It just asked me to rate how my experience is on this game. Are you kidding? Uh, did get 300 offensive yards, so that's good to to see and have a couple of uh, a couple of upgrades. Damn, if I can talk. Um, power back, Damian Pierce is pretty much just what we develop. We're gonna develop him as is just. A power back that can go through the middle of the field and just win. I guess we can auto upgrade all those guys. Don't really matter to me right now, and I'm not up for it. But I mean, I'm gonna look at the the short week, and uh, after we're we're four and eleven, I'm sure that uh, people have some things to say about us. But uh, all I gotta say is we got some draft picks that we're gonna we're gonna like. I didn't think the short week would affect us, but uh, clearly, yeah, no, it, it messed us up. It, it did. Messes up big time. We were uh, running fourth string running backs, fourth and third string running backs, and fourth string tight ends at um, at wide receiver. So, um, yeah, it's not really that good, right? But damn. But uh, now uh, players ready to negotiate. I mean, we could just advance the week, see what we can expect for week seventeen. We are almost wrapped up with the season. We're pretty close, but not quite there. Uh, unstoppable force. Uh, this defense apparently is pretty good. Uh, playing spoiler. I don't care about finishing strong, dude. I care about tanking for draft picks. Are we at the bottom of the league yet? How, what? Where are we at? What losing team won? How about we look at that? We are third in the league standings. So, uh, yeah. Can't wait to... to Keep on going with that. So that'll be it for me. If you guys did enjoy the video, which I'm sure some of you guys did and some of you guys didn't. But if you did, make sure to leave a like. It does help out the algorithm quite a little bit for me, especially if you watched to this point. I do appreciate you so, so, so much. And consider subscribing. It's completely free. Uh, and you can unsubscribe anytime. But yeah, that'll do it for me. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I do appreciate it. Uh, see you guys later.